Okay, so this is your insulation overview for the zero core pool system. And uh, basically what we're gonna cover here is just a real quick rundown of how to prepare for installing the system before you actually get started on the insulation. And what I wanted to talk about is, uh, first of all, what comes in the box with the system. And so, uh, first of all, in the box is gonna be all of your resources, your documentation. You're gonna have uh, sheets, uh, instruction sheets on how to install it and uh, tips and maintenance sheets and also a schematic on uh, the order of different components on the system, how, you know, what order you're supposed to install the different components in, in relation to the pump and filter and heater. And um, what I wanted to mention to you was that that's very important. I don't want you to uh, be installing the system without first going over all that material and making sure that you have a good general understanding of your plan for insulation. Um, the second thing that's in the box is this blue pipe, uh, which is 63 millimeter pipe and adapters. And so the system is actually um, uh, built in metric. And so, uh, you know, in North America, we have to get that down to uh, two inch PVC plumbing. And we do that with these two adapters here. And so uh, these adapters go on this blue pipe there like that. And this one goes there. And now you are adapted on both sides to uh, two inch. And um, anyway, I wanted to show this to you so that it made sense when you pull this out of the box and it makes it a lot easier for you to um, install this thing. Now, the, the next thing I wanna talk about is the order of things. So uh, before you start installing your system, I want you to take a look at the schematic that came uh, in the box. And it, by the way, if any of these reference materials are not for whatever reason included in the box, they're posted publicly on our website, zerochloropoolsystems.com, down at the bottom of the page on the Education Center page. So you go down below the videos and you'll see all of these reference materials posted if you need access to those. Um, anyway. Before you get started, what I wanna make sure that you do is that you lay out your uh, system and all the components before you get started so that you have a general idea and plan on how you're gonna plumb this in. And if you look here, we're getting started on a system today and we have already laid out the, um, now this, we've got this laying down, the um, high exposure time ultraviolet light tube is actually gonna be mounted on the wall here. And um, we're just laying it down because I didn't want it to drop while I was shooting this video. Um, but then down on the, uh, what's going to happen is, is uh, the um, return plumbing is coming over here. It's going to hook into the high exposure time ultraviolet light. That's going to go down the tube. The water's going to go down the tube, feed into the um, titanium and copper chamber. And then it's going to go over to the Visiflow um, flow meter. And then it's going to continue on to the pool. And so we've already got our system laid out kind of the way we want it. And that allows us to identify any issues that may occur with the plumbing before we get started. And that's what I suggest you do on your installation. Um, we'll be covering other videos with this install and those will be posted in um, the education center on the website. Okay, so now we're going to be adding the AFM uh, filter media to the filter here. We've got a 350 pound brand new filter. And um, you can also use AFM in uh, pre-existing filters. If you're changing the sand to glass, you're still gonna follow the same uh, processes. Also, I want you to know that on the education center uh, at zerochloropoolsystems.com at the bottom of the page, there is a chart that will outline to you exactly how much of each grade of AFM to put into the filter. In this case, we've got a 350 pound filter. Um, AFM, you can actually use uh, up to 15% less than the, um, the sand that you would normally use in a filter and it, and it works out fine. So in this 350 pound filter, we're actually gonna be putting in 330 pounds of AFM. And the first thing that you put in to cover the laterals at the bottom of the filter is grade three AFM. And that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna start adding the grade three AFM to the filter. 
Make sure you've got the uh, protector on, obviously, to keep it from going inside of the pipe. This is the process I like to use to fill uh, glass filters. I like to set the bag on top of the filter and then cut it so that it, it's, uh, you're not hurting your back. And spinning it around. You also want to spin it around to kind of evenly uh, lay out the bed of the glass on the on the bottom of the filter. Okay, after this, and I'm not going to video every uh, single bag that we put in, but after this, we're going to do the exact same process, but with one bag of grade 2 AFM. And then uh, once that's in, we're going to put in uh, five bags of, I, I take that back, I'm sorry, four bags of grade 1 AFM on top of uh, grade the grade 3 bed and the grade 2 bed, and then we're going to be finished. Very simple process. I didn't know.